This is Jordan. I'm traveling on the road right now, but I made a development in a project I've been working on. I wanted to post, and that is to get a Commodore 64 to connect to a Yaitsu FT817. Uh, as you know, Commodore really didn't have a uh, RS-232 interface, and most of it was implemented in software and probably ran a 2400 board, but generally didn't. Uh, I used the emulation within Vice, as I didn't bring a Commodore 64 with me. Uh, emulation within Vice to uh, uh, emulate a Swift Link, which is uh, connected via uh, USB serial. I have my older serial device that has the indications on it. And that goes to the CAD interface of this FT817 and sends the commands in the CAT protocol structure that it requires. And the only one I have set up right now as I just got this running is VFO toggle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the program so you can see it. And I got the Commodore up and running right now. The program's already loaded, so I have to go to the memory address. It's on 8192. And this is a very dumb terminal that basically does one function. No matter what key I press, it's going to run a routine. And the routine is to build this uh, uh, packet of data. And I have the, the structure here that I wrote down and the command and control bits that I deciphered from other programs that I was running and, and halted it and ran the the monitor to see where, where I was at and just honed in on it till it worked. And basically, with the exception of a, a routine I have that, that uh, echoes the key that I press and the key is relevant, what will happen is, is that as I press a key, you'll see that the transmit in the middle flickers immediately followed by receive and that's what we're looking for because if I get the receive back, I know that I've successfully communicated with the radio. And every time I send it, I'm sending a packet that looks like that five times. But what it's populated with is uh, quad zero and uh, 87 to, to change the VFO. And if I look at the radio right here, as I press the button, it will change the VFO on the radio, which is what we're looking for. Now that I've figured out really how to do this, I can first refine this code and then make it into the application that I'm currently using. So that is my video of Commodore 64 interfacing via SwiftLink over Vice to the FT817. Thanks for watching.